Hey friends, welcome to Tech Harvesting. In today's video, we will have a look at how we can add navigation to a React Native application with a package called React Navigation. This helps us to add different kinds of navigation to our application, but we'll be mainly focusing on the stack navigation that is provided by it. So let's get started. Application with Expo and it's called React Navigation Demo. So you can just run this command and it's gonna create the application for you. And then I'm just gonna open it up in VS Code by running code react navigation demo so it's opened it up and so first we need to do is install react navigation so you can open up the react navigation documentation i'll leave a link to this in the description and if you scroll down you'll see the package that we'll need to add so i'm just gonna go back here open up the terminal and run the command so it's react navigation slash native since we're using react native and since we're using Expo, we'll also need to run this. So it's going to install two packages with Expo. It's uh, React Native Screens and React Native Safe Area Context. So we can run that too. And that's pretty much it for the installation part. In case you do not use Expo in your project, then you can just run this command if you're using a normal React Native app to install all these. So I'll be back once these uh, dependencies are installed. To go ahead, open up app.tsx and we'll need to add a navigation container component. This is what wraps our entire application and helps us to add the navigation. So I'm just going to remove this style for now because in this application I'm not looking at adding style since this is just a demo. And in here, I'm going to wrap the entire app with navigation container. And this is imported from at react navigation slash native, the package that we just installed with yarn. How you can use the stack navigator. So different types of navigators in react navigation and the stack navigation is just like you're having layers on top of each other, each different kind of like web pages on top of each other. So that's what we'll be doing. So for installing the stack navigator, you can just run yarn add at react navigation slash native dash stack. So that's going to install that into our project. Create a component like a home screen. So components, screens, this is a file structure and it can have home screen dot tsx. And I'm going to go ahead and remove these and replace them with views. So right now, let's have a normal text in here. Let's import from React Native. And let's have the text home screen inside. There you go. So first what we'll need to do is to go ahead and import the create native stack, na stack navigator function. So this is going to help us to create the uh, stack. And the stack is what we'll use to keep all the pages on top of each other. And we'll be able to even add the pages in here as a list. So we can import create native stack navigator and then we can create a stack. So for creating a stack, what you need to do is const stack equals create native navigator stack. And that will help us by just creating a stack. And inside the stack, if you just type it down and give a dot you'll see there are three different components stack dot group navigator and screen so we'll look at most of them right now navigation uh, components all of our screens are gonna be inside a component called navigator so we can access that by going into the stack that we just created dot navigator and inside this we're gonna be listing all the uh, screens which is like pages in a web application if you want to compare so inside this navigator we're gonna have our screens so you can do stack dot screen which is also another component and you can close it up and inside this we are gonna have all of our screens we can also gonna be passing some props for it which we will do right now to make the self closing tag and we're gonna give in a few props so if you look in the documentation you can see that in this example they're giving a name and a component to display so we'll do the same thing so we're gonna give a name equals home and then we can go ahead and give a component to display 
and that's gonna be our home screen now also just start up the application and let's just run expo start and I'm gonna open it up in the iOS simulator so I'm just gonna tap in I so while that opens it up in the simulator let's go ahead and continue with our application so I'd like to add one more screen to our app so I'm gonna copy that down and have an about screen let's do about screen and let's add another screen here called about screen dot tsx and I'm just gonna copy everything from there and paste it in here but let's just change this to about so we can just import it here too and if we were to look it in our app which is currently building so let's wait for it to build and that's done seems like there's a problem here with our app should be pretty simple probably say we'll change it and seems like uh there's an error here and it tells us that we uh, it, it may uh, want us to run yarn so let's just stop the app run yarn to install the dependencies seems like it's done but let's just restart the app which probably fixes most of the issues so let's just try that So opened up the app that it has loaded our application it's showing the home screen now the reason it's showing the home screen is because that's the one we have up front so if you move down and have the about screen at the top and if we were to reload our application you can see we're getting the about screen now so by default whichever is the one at the top is going to be showing so now let's have a look at how we can add a link to go to the other page so the screen to be uh, precise so we can add a link to the home screen showing about and when you click on the text it should take us on to the about screen so let's do that now hook from the react navigation library called use navigation so we can import use navigation from at react navigation slash navigate next let's use the hook so const navigation equals use navigation so this is, navigation is an object which has some functions so if you go to navigation dot you can see we are having all these functions one of which is navigate so navigate is very simple given the name of the route and it takes you to that screen so this is imported from react native and let's make itself closing and we're gonna have an on press function so on press and we are gonna go ahead and navigate ourselves so we can add an arrow function to navigation dot navigate about and then you can go ahead and give a title for the button and for now we can give it as about screen so if you come back to this simulator you can see we are having the button and here, here and if you click it Returning to the about screen, we get an arrow here to go back to the home screen also. So you can see you're getting back to the home screen also. That's really cool. Now there's another thing, some other more functions in the same hook. So I'll do it in the about screen now. So you can just import, use navigate again, use navigation, and then const navigate equals use navigation. And then what we can do is, for example, have a button to go back. So we have a button here. The title of go back. And for that, we'll need to run a function called navigate dot on uh, go back. It's really simple. So we can have an on press, and we can have an arrow function once again. Navigate dot go back so now I'll go back here go to the about screen we have a go back button we click on it we're taken back to the screen so it works pretty well right now so that's all I wanted to show you in this video 
And the last thing is that, for example, if you're having the route right here, and if you want to make this the default route, we can actually do that. Then we can have an initial route name and uh, into our navigator, and we can uh, go ahead and make it the default. So I made this go up the about page and let us give initial route name equals home, reload the app, open up our simulator. And as you can see, our home screen is shown here. We have a link to our about screen, even though the about screen is at the top. And click here again when you're having our go back, you can go back and it's working pretty well. So that was it for this video. Thanks for watching. And if you did find the video helpful, please like it and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye friends.